Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to import and animate sprites in Game Maker Studio 2. The final project is going to look just like this. We're going to have Sarah, who is fully animated when she moves around, and when she stops moving, she'll stop animating, and when she runs, her animation will speed up according to how fast she is going. The sprite sheet that we're going to be using today will be available in the description below along with the finished project and all of the code commented so you can see exactly what everything does. So you can download that and play with it if that's your way of learning. But for now, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to go ahead over to sprites and right click and create a new one. I'm going to double click on this first frame and then I'm going to go up to image here and I'm going to go to import strip image. I'm going to click on Sarah right here, which is a sprite sheet. If you're not familiar with a sprite sheet, it is a collection of images that when you put together, makes it look like they are animating. Her walk cycle is right here, and it is from left to right, and it is nine frames long. So I am going to click on her, and it comes up with a box that is 32 by 32 by default. And you can change that with the frame width and the frame height. I'm going to change the height to 50. I'm going to zoom in and put that box right around her. And then I'm going to choose the number of frames equal to 9. And you can see it goes top to bottom, but we want it to go left to right. So frames per row, we're going to set equal to 9 as well, and then it jumps that way. Now we need to do a little bit of a separation, and I know exactly it needs to be 32 to then catch all of these. Now if you have a good sprite sheet, it should be just like this where you can import it all easily all at once. So I'm going to go ahead and click on convert and you might get a little pop-up box. I've already disabled that in mine and now we have Sarah walking up and we can click on this play button and it animates nice and smooth which is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to go over to the sprite. I'm going to name it SPR Sarah walk up and I'm going to go over to the origin here and this is important. You need to click on middle center. If you don't middle center your sprites, a lot of times you might get a really weird warping when they are walking around. If you middle center, when you draw it in your game, you'll know exactly where it ends up. Not for everything you want to, but most things, I would just recommend middle centering their origin. Okay. Now we need to do this three more times and there's a couple other ways to do this. So we can actually click on import right here and we can import the whole sprite sheet into the first frame. Now when we do this, it brings the sprite sheet right here, which is not useful, except that we can go up to image and actually convert to frames. And it brings up the same looking box, so we already know the values we want, but you can import a sprite sheet just like that if that's what you were keen on doing for whatever reason. So I'm going to wrap this right around her and put in the values that I need exactly here and convert, and then we've got her right there walking left. So I'm going to go ahead and name it SPR Sarah walk left and middle center that. And hopefully you're following along because if you don't know how to do this, the best way to learn is actually doing it yourself. So I'm going to continue to do this two more times. Now if you also have a GIF, uh, you can just bring in the GIF and GameMaker will export each animation into its frame so that you can just bring in the GIF right away. And that's a really nice feature that they've got. I don't have a GIF of Sarah walking here, but if I did, it would speed up the process tremendously. So I'm going to go ahead and get her walking down and name that SPR Sarah walk down and middle center. And we're going to do that one more time. This will be her walking right. And we'll name that SPR Sarah walk right. And middle center. And then we will have all four sprites that we need. Now we need to make an object. The objects are what you actually put into your game. So I'm going to name this OBJ Sarah. And I'm going to give it the sprite of her walking down. And then I'm going to add an event of create. So inside of here, all we're going to put in is two lines of code. We're going to say image 
speed equals zero. An image speed is a built-in variable to objects that say, how fast should we flip through the frames of the sprite that it's showing? So I chose Sarah walk down. So if image speed wasn't zero, it would fly through the frames that we have of her walking down. But we don't want that to happen because she isn't moving yet when she comes into the map. So image speed equals zero. And then we're going to do walk speed equals 3.5. We're going to set up a variable for the walk speed because you want to have variables to when you are placing them all over the place like we're going to in just a second. Now we're going to add event step. And this is where the bulk of our code is going to be. All right. So follow along. We're going to say if keyboard check ORD quotes the letter D open and close brackets here. So we're going to use this function to see if the letter D is being pressed. And if it is, we're going to move our character the amount over of walk speed. So we're going to change her X coordinate, the amount of walk speed every single step of the game while D is being held down. Okay. We're going to set the image speed equal to walk speed divided by three. And this is the trick right here. This makes her image animation smooth no matter how fast or slow she is going. And we're going to change the sprite, ooh, sprite index equal to SPR Sarah walk right. The sprite index says which sprite should we actually be showing at the current moment. And we want to be showing walk right because she's moving to the right. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this three times and change this for the other directions. So we need to say x minus equal walk speed and Sarah walk left. And we're going to put s here for going down, and put a y plus equal to walk speed. And Sarah walk down for the sprite index. And we're going to do a w for going up. Change this to y and minus equal to walk speed. And then Sarah walk up. Now before we run this, let's go into options and main. And Game Maker now sets the games per second equal to 30. And you really want 60 FPS when you're running your game. It just helps it be a whole lot smoother and look much nicer. So I'd recommend changing that to 60 in all of your projects. Go ahead and open up your room. And we're going to drag Sarah into the room and press F5 to run it. Now with this code, she will be animated when she walks around. You can see here we can walk in all of the directions. We can walk diagonal and she is animated. The only problem we have is that when we stop walking, she continues to animate, which is not what we want. So let's double click on Sarah and go back to here. And I'm going to go put another if statement in here. And this is going to be if keyboard check VK no key, which stands for virtual key, no key. So if nothing is being pressed, we're going to set the image speed equal to zero and image index equal to zero. So it's going to go back to frame one, the very first frame of whichever sprite index is currently being displayed. Now when we run it, she will stop animating when she stops walking. But I want to add in one more thing, and that is a way to make her run. So we're going to do if keyboard check VK shift. We're going to, so if we press the shift key, we're going to set walk speed equal to seven. And then we need to come up here to VK no key and set walk speed equal to 3.5. That way when we stop pressing the shift key or any key at all, then she will go back to her regular running speed. Let's go ahead and run this with F5 and see how well it works. So when she stops moving, she goes back to zero on the frame, which is exactly what we want. And she can also run while we are holding down the shift key. That's perfect. It's beautiful. So that is the basics of importing and animating sprites. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have anything you'd like to see from me in the future, then hit me up in, on Twitter or ask a question in the description down below. You can also visit my Patreon. People who support me on there get to vote for the next videos that I make. Uh, as always, though, uh, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later.
Here are my supporters on Patreon getting their name in the credits. They help me make videos, and I want to give a shout out to them because they're awesome. That's all. <laughs>